Okay, we're off. This is the beginning of a very special day. We got a visit from the uh, RVR Club shooting show. And it's the president's birthday. And there he is, the man himself, with his trusty Labrador. We hope he has a very good day and enjoys it. To be perfectly honest, it's not ideal conditions, but it's a beautiful day. And it's a lovely day for them to be out on a day like this, which is Ray's birthday. And we shall see some birds soon. The RVR Club's got a lot of history. It's a bit like the Travelling Wilburys. The Travelling Wilburys are shooting, that is, of course. Captain Mick there heading off into position. He's bound to know somebody in the shooting line, I would think. It's Dave moving into position. He'll go in the middle there somewhere. And until his way cavalry will come in from the right, sweep right through. This is a special day for all of us, so uh, fingers crossed it goes well. There's the shoot owner there, he's pulling all the strings. A bit like a puppet master really, but when it all comes together, it can work really well. If we're lucky. Peters are pulling through on us now, you can hear the radios crackling. So, it's all under control at the moment. Don't mean to stay out to say that way. There's the first hand. Couple of scouts through there. A few birds in the air, various places. There are some wings, and copper's gone through there. There are some guns out in the field though. Look up! Well, that's the first bird shot this end. I think El Presidente finished that one off. You going through on the left eye. Nice copper over the head, it's hit. One for the Tillsway Cavalry. Come on Jim, up the front. Ain't gonna drop in it. Take no prisoners. It. Unload, ladies and gentlemen, please. There ended the first lesson. Here comes Emily. She's still trying to train Dougie before she goes away to New Zealand. Then we've got the Laurel Hardy parade. Tillsway Cavalry is going to be deployed. There's definitely a hard running cockbird back there. 80 years old today, Ray. Fantastic. All credit to you, mate. Convoy's about to move off to the next drive. Captain Mick there, hopefully he's going to salute as they drive away. That was it then, we just had a major picking up debate. Captain Mick has deployed the troops. Hopefully the plan will work. That's Dave on his way into position. I think some of these guns are going to get a bit of a shock in a minute. They don't get on the peg and get alert. Pigeon whizzing through the trees. There's two guns up there, and they will see some good birds going through the tops of them trees. Birds whizzing through the tops of them trees again, as happened before. Oh.
approach. He's hit. Straight over you, Jim. There he is. And to the right, he's down. Hold on. Went through. Nice shot. Straight over the tree, Jim. He's down. She's not going to stop. No shot. And side, Jim. That's Dougie, I think he got his first runner. It's Eddie Stobart with the cutting crew. That's it, we'll see me moving off the next drive. Just doing a bit of picking up up there. It's Vicky working our dog down. And they've got some birds. <laughs> oh, yeah, then we come into uh, Snow Puddle Drive and uh, hopefully we'll see a few birds shortly. There's the co-leader of the Irish. Get her in a minute. RVR Club. Yeah, push stall. Yeah, sir. Yeah, Look up, Vicky. Conditions are changing in our favour now. The pressure's dropping and the wind's coming, so should see some better birds as the day goes on. A lot of birds out there. Big flush. It took everybody by surprise, I think. It's down. Look up, Vicky! I'm on the edge of the field, he's climbing. He's gone. Yeah, conditions are just right to do snow's paddle. Overcast, wind's in the right place. Pressure's dropping. It is January and there won't be so many birds in there as there has been earlier in the season. That's it, it's time to unload, all out. Trouble with these birds it's getting January thin on the ground and they're on you quick. That's what Vicky loves to do work her dog. Vicky's dog going back with another one. Yeah, there's uh, Eddie Stobart doing a bit of public reactions. Bit of PR doesn't help. Does help.
Well, we should see some birds there. The wind's just right. Sun's popped this out, which is not going to be out, but at least the sun will be behind the birds, so that shouldn't stop them flying. And the wind has made it a different ball game, so we uh, should see some fun here in a minute. Just by coincidence, we've got the founder members of the RVR club side by side here. There's a massive flush. Let him go. Big flush there. There's a better bird. He's climbed on the wind. They boy nailed that one. Birds in the air here. A lot of birds in the air. Ooh. <coughs> Ooh. <coughs> That's another coffer. Feeling he might try and shoot that. Oh! I don't want that one for dinner. Better bird up there. There's some more following on behind. Make a shot. It did. Come on, there's the best bird of the drive. Comes Vicky's girl back with the first one. Perfect delivery, don't get any better than that. Stood on its tail. <laughs> Pick it up. <laughs> Good dog. That's it. Back to the ranch. Yeah, back to the ranch. What a good girl that is. Alright? <laughs> yeah. Good girl, she's like a real bird finder. Yeah. A bit of a miracle there, Pete didn't run over him. He, he normally spatchcocks them before we managed to hang them on the rail. It's like Dougie's picked up another one. Back to uh, Shelly B's in on the road. The Gavin of the clans. Simon, do you want a drink? A drink? They're not allowed to drink. 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 They're not Pace is hotting up now. Roy's moving in for a refill. Jane's back again. It's all happening. Say a few words. I'm not, I'm not sure. He might, he might come out with something in a minute. You know, it might do. Yeah, this is an interview with the famous Pistol Pete North from Wiltshire. 
No, he's, he's not on form today. We'll have to leave it for now, folks. Maybe next time. There's Charlie, somebody on my YouTube channel said he was a good keeper. I don't know who that was. Said the keeper must be doing well to have so many birds left in January. I said you better tell his boss that. Following an amazing alfresco lunch. There's Shelly Beeson on the road. This is the second half of the uh, RVR Club Day. Ray's birthday. 80th birthday. And the drive is underway. First bird of the drive is down. Ray's dog's on and pick it up. Ray shot the first bird of the drive. There's a hair going through. Good pheasant. Going up. Lovely. Another snorter going back. Oh dear. He's down. Nice shot, Ray. And the auxiliary pick her up. Let's get after it. I'm sure the lamb's got it, which is a good thing, really. Down the Spaniel can go back in the drive and do what he's supposed to be doing. Not that wrong, the Spaniel got it. There's another good bird coming out there. Look at this one. Oh. Mark! There's a little re picker up. Springer has just disappeared back into the wood with the bird. Another one coming back. Nice shot. He's down. Look up! Look up! Nice shot! No, 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 dog. Ah. Uh. Oh, nice bird there. Oh, he stood up now. Dang. Silly bird there, and all these good ones have just come out now. God, look at them. Set. Time out, ladies and gentlemen, please. Unload. Got some nice birds to shoot out there. Bit of picking up to do now before we move on to the last drive. Nice little cocker, but like most of them, he's got a mind of his own and not of his owner. There come the auxiliary pickers up. He's going in the wrong way. That one a bad little drive. You'll be happy with that. This old dog here has had a field day in the middle. Needs to remember where his owner is. There it is. Good girl.
A post driving quest. Pretty successful drive that one I would think. From where I was sitting and onwards we go. I think this could be the last drive of the day. See a few partridges here and some pheasants, I would think. Just to round off what has been a splendid day so far. Everybody seems to have enjoyed it. Served its purpose. Ray's 80th birthday. Unbelievable, really. There you go. Nice pheasant there. It's down. Much doubt about that. I don't think that had anything to do with northeast coaching either. Some partridges going out. One down. The other one's still going. I think the hostess with the mostess shot one there, Vicky. The pheasant gone on top of the hedge. He's down. Take no prisoners there. He's going to turn over. Nice part of the shot there. I'm going to say, definitely. I'll buy another one here. Climbing up. Another one out there. Let me go back with the partridge, so she's out for another one. I think it's dead. I don't reckon it's there. Hey? The way the wind is, you sent it down the bottom end, won't you? Where'd you go? You take it right up the top next to it. That's what that would do. Hey, hey. That's got it out there, lad. You're in trouble, right? Well, it might run down the bank a bit, Pete. Last hurrah, this is for sure. Well, that's got to be it. It'll be dark in a minute. And that, dear friends, is the end for today. Of the RVR Club birthday day. And I'm sure everyone's enjoyed it. Probably head back to Shelley Bees and on the road now for tea and cake. And beat us for a meal.